Igwamite Secondary School, Laikipia County. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, class teacher. Uh, my name is Mwansi Wajombe. I'm based in Nairobi. But today I'm spending my whole day in Iguamiti Secondary School because I was here earlier in the morning session talking to from one and two classes and their class teachers and now I'm back to finish the mission of empowering the whole lot of students of Iguamete Secondary School upon the invite by the principal of Iguamete Secondary School. First and foremost, Wanimu Atikwe Makofi. Wangi Wajombe is a professional trainer on strategy, performance management, change management, and also leadership. Also, a white published writer on the same area. I've been published in the Daily Nation, uh, Business Daily, Standard Newspaper, and many others. And still some time in uh, 2013, uh, up to 2018, when I was writing a column on strategy in a magazine titled Small and Medium Enterprise Today. As I trained in organizations, many organizations, with authority from the National Industrial Training Authority, uh, I noticed a problem. More than 80% of people who are employed, they are totally dispassionate about what they do. They are there because of what they get. True or not true? And I noticed a lot of wastage of human capital, and I decided to do a research on what happened. Around time, I found that more than 50% of graduates of the school system in Kenya are unemployable. That was by 2015, and I decided to attack that problem and see how it can be sorted out. And I wrote a book titled Career Dynamics in the 21st Century, way back in 2015, and this is it. The staff team unleashing the human performance potential. I was just innocently solving a problem that had disturbed me, and an article that was written about the book in the Daily Nation on 23rd May 2015 attracted the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development. And upon them reading the book, it was eventually used for architecture of the competency-based curriculum. And in the process, it was approved for circulation in schools in this country from 2016. So from 2016, I've been going around schools uh, to introduce the concept, then after that, I'm invited to conduct seminars for teachers and also for students. In my school, they have performed very well, very well for inviting me to talk to all students on the same day. I have not experienced that in the past, and that is why I feel you are principal should be uh, recognized once again for doing that. See, I are recognized by a clap of hearts. I think from today, the language of empowerment in the school will be totally different. Students
pretend to be talking the same language guided by the class teachers. Uh, this is not the first thing that I've been to in uh, Nigeria County. In uh, February 2021, I had a seminar for teachers of Lurumu High School. And in May 2021, I had a seminar for the students of Form 2, Form 3, and 4 of Zero Secondary School. You know Zero? Yes. And in June, 2021, I had a seminar for teachers of Bishop Ruiz uh, Secondary School in Yahuru Town. You know Bishop Ruiz? Yes. And uh, that was very exciting because all teachers, later I was told, they went back to school to realize their knowledge. So you can imagine if teachers go back to school. What about you, you who are in school? I expect you to do better than you have been doing, isn't it? Now, the, the other school that I've been to was uh, in somewhere in Lake Ipia East, that is Nanuki, and uh, it's called Nanuki Garrison <coughs> Secondary School. The whole school included teachers in March 2023. Uh, as you can see, I'm not new in this town. But I have conducted seminars in schools spread around 12 counties so far. Just because of this book, I got career dynamics in the 21st century, because it's the one which arrives in the arrives in the school first, then I'm invited. Now, 2018. Everybody has been asking me where is the next series of the book. And eventually I wrote another one titled Living Beyond the Bible. Something no more to do in life. And that completed my mission in school. And now they activate both of them as twins. They are good for students, they are good for teachers, and the main aim is to remove Kenyans from 20th century thinking to 21st century thinking. Why do people buy? Why do people buy new things? Huh? Huh? To satisfy their needs. Yes? It's a good answer. But People buy for one reason or the other. One reason or not? The first one, to benefit from the product on offer. Okay? To benefit from? The other reason that makes them buy to avoid pain of not using that product. Are we together? To avoid pain. So they are in pain and either pain or pain. I'm asking you today, boys and girls, of this school, buy my idea today. I'm not selling to you. I'm not, I'm selling to the school. On your behalf. Are you together? So that you can benefit from the same. Because if you don't apply these ideas, do you know what will happen to you? You are likely to be very peaceful power later on in life. Are we together? Look at my yes. That's why I'm asking you buy those ideas and use them uh, from today henceforth, whether in school or out of school. Now, the seminar today, what are we planning? One, how to align with the 21st century mentalities or thinking as having to do. 
those are very important. Those are very, if you don't understand what they mean, you do not have to. Now, the next one, so current and future empowerment challenges. So current and future empowerment challenges. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. Huh. In the future, you may say that you have gone to school, but when you leave school, you end up being unemployable. Are we together? You end up being or not useful to the society. These are the problems we are solving today. Number three, align studies with the personal national organizations. Are you writing this? Please be remembering, nobody is like the other. You are not like your father. You are not like your mother. You are not like your brother. You are not like your sister. And I'm going to prove that to you today. Okay? You are supposed to align yourself with your own natural orientation. Then, acquire strategic direction in studies or acquire the right focus as you continue studying. Everything that you study is supposed to be aligned. It's supposed to be following a certain career pathway. Not a certain career, a certain Now, once you are properly aligned, you are likely to become properly aligned or properly strategic like this part called the ego. The ego has a very sharp item. It sees 10 kilometers away, place that is 10 kilometers away from where it is in the air and it catches that uh, play. Now, in your case, the moment you align yourself with your natural orientation, what happens? You are able to see opportunities way ahead of you and aligning yourself in such a way that you will benefit from those opportunities. In the same way, if you align yourself with your natural orientation, life will be very enjoyable and smooth for you while in school and while out of school. Are we together? Yes. And when you do that, you follow your campus. Just like that, that uh, chip. If the campus gets destroyed, what happens? The chip does what? It sinks. Doesn't it? Now, in your case, when you have the right campus, you are able to move throughout you are alive. Now, as you follow your campus, what happens? You end up becoming great, a great individual. Great individuals make great teams. Great teams make great organizations. Great organizations make great nations. And here, the great individuals and the deserving great reward. Is that going to happen from today and forth in Iguamete Secondary School? Yes. If it is going to happen, I left my case a certified uh, person who came to your school for this empowerment mission. So, are we going to create a future from today and forth on the basis of what we have done? Alright, if that is the case, I rest my case permanently.